So if you guys were hoping for a weird Rising Fist booster box opening out of these games, by the way, this is box 16 out of 20, uh, you're about to get it. So, this is going to be very strange. So, lately, I've been finding myself struggling to find things to talk about in my booster box openings, uh, because you see the same cards over and over again, and while it still might be interesting for me to pull an Electivire or Magmortar, or to point out the coolness of the Sylveon Hollow and the Noivern Hollow and things like that, eventually, I'm sure you guys get sick of hearing me say the same things over and over again. So, I'm going to talk about stuff that has nothing to do with Pokemon while I open this booster box. And that's how we're going to go. Uh, 21st edition Rising Fist booster packs. Absolutely worthless commentary. Hoping to pull a Battle Reporter Full Art or the Mega Lucario Ultra Rare. And aside from that, I don't really care what I pull. So, yeah. Uh, lately, I've been finding myself listening to Mumford & Sons a lot. And I go through weird phases of music, where I'll just listen to, not necessarily the same song, but uh, the same albums in a fair amount of sequential order. Uh, I have done it a lot with Coldplay in the past, uh, Snow Patrol as well, because that tends to be the type of music that I listen to the most. Uh, but lately, I've really been finding myself listening to uh, Babel by uh, Mumford & Sons, the entirety of the album. Um, they automatically get brownie points for doing a remake of a Simon and Garfunkel song, uh, The Boxer, which is really cool. So, I mean, I was probably destined to at least appreciate them a little bit. But I could probably name half a dozen songs on that album that just really, really impressed me. Uh, and not any clear-cut favorite of them either. I don't know if you guys listen to Mumford & Sons at all. <clears throat> hey, finally. Um, but... Yeah, I just, I really dig their style of music, and they're not really the type of band that I would listen to either, so that's what makes it all the more impressive to me, but uh, I Will Wait is obviously their, their big uh, song on that album, but I've been listening to a lot of uh, Broken Crown, uh, Ghosts That We Knew, Lover's Eyes, and a variety of other things as well, so I've been really digging on Mumford & Sons. I've been struggling to find music that I like outside of my comfort zone, though. Because I've had that album for like a couple of months now, and it's been the big thing that I've listened to, but... Um, overall, I tend to listen to the same kind of stuff. You know, where you get into kind of like a musical sort of rut. And it gets frustrating too, because, you know, in my case at the very least, I'll look at my iPod and I'll have... Oh, I don't even know, like 14,000, 15,000 songs on it. But as soon as I open my iPod, if I've just finished an album, I'll think to myself, what on earth am I going to listen to? And that's an odd scenario to find yourself in when you have, you know, days upon days upon days of music. Really, I probably have like a month or two's worth of music if I were to listen to it consecutively, but I still find it difficult to pick out something that really grabs me apart from everything else. And usually that's a sign that I need new music, but sometimes it's just a sign that I need to go back to basics a little bit, maybe step away from listening to music for a little while. I don't know, that's my little musical rant. I'm going to come up with a new topic now. Um, how about my inability to watch any TV shows? Uh, did you guys know that I don't watch television? And not like I don't watch television, like I'll watch sporting events and I can watch TV shows, but I really struggle, especially in the last year or so, since YouTube has caught on, uh, I really struggle to watch a television show and follow it through while it's on. I'm currently watching nothing. And I've got an extensive list of things that I should watch, uh, things that I would like to watch, things that I've been telling people that I'm about to watch, and it just never really comes around. Which is odd, I know. Um, because, I don't know, I like certain TV shows. I like anime, too. Uh, I want to rewatch um, uh, Sword Art Online, because Gun Gale is coming out in a few weeks. There's a moth on my head. But I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to find the time, or more importantly, have the dedication to do so. And, I don't know. It's a little bit of, like, a self-disappointment as well. 
say, oh, I really want to watch this show, and continually build yourself up that I want to watch this, I really like this the first time, I'll like it the second time, and then not be able to get out of your own way to, to enjoy the show. And then you kind of look back at the end of the day and say, well, what did I accomplish? And how did I spend my time and was it wise? And while watching TV isn't necessarily a productive method of your time, it's still frustrating when you set aside a particular subset of time for something and you don't use it properly. I don't know, I don't want this opening to be too dark or, you know, whatever, but... My name is Wake Run Collapse, so you've got to have a certain level of expectation of what kind of person I'm going to be like in real life. And that's the kind of person I'm like in real life, so... A uh, separate topic of conversation that might interest you guys? Hmm. Maybe I'll pick something that won't interest you. Uh, you know what? I will pick something that could potentially interest you guys. Uh, you might just be in the um, in the same community as I am, but I'm curious to see what else you guys watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I watch Grace Helbig very, very often. Um, Hannah Hart, Mamrie Hart, also really cool, but you might not know some of the other things that are in my sub box that I really enjoy, and I will consistently watch the videos of when they, when they pop up. Uh, Vsauce is really cool. Uh, Vsauce has a lot of uh, interesting... Um, I would assume very factual, you know, videos on things like what if the Earth stopped spinning, uh, information about what the uh, what the atomic bombs were like. There's this video called Cruel Bombs. It's just really, really eye-opening, really nice. Um, so I dig that. Uh, Slow mo guys are really good. Uh, they don't post that much anymore, but uh, obviously they're they're busy and their quality is certainly always going to be there. So I'll certainly take what I can get uh, out of theirs. Um, there's some other YouTubers that I watch sometimes as well. Um, by YouTubers, I mean like uh, people who are in the vlogging series and people who are like actual YouTube personalities. Um, While well, I'm on the last pack, uh, Casper Lee is really funny. He's not my typical YouTuber to watch at all, but I really, really enjoy his, uh, his brand of humor, so... Um, I don't know, there's always cool stuff out there that you're able to, uh, to find. And so I'm curious to see what you guys watch in your spare time. Uh, I imagine a lot of you watch, you know, other Pokemon stuff or maybe something similar. Or maybe you watch, you know, Minecraft or something like that. But, I don't know, it's, uh, it's very much a to each his own kind of thing. And, of course, just because you're into Pokemon doesn't mean that you are or aren't into any other particular thing, because you are all beautiful and unique snowflakes, or so we like to think. Cool, that was fun. I'm done. Bye-bye.